So I would say that uh, there are two aspects here. The first one is technical aspect, and the second one is a personal aspect. So in terms of technical, uh, we just uh, need to uh, confirm that whatever is supposed to be done in accordance with some uh, precise recipes, standards, uh, guidelines, whatever, robots are much better in that type of job compared to humans. Whenever there is uh, some space for creativity, then of course it's uh, the moment for humans to come. But when we talk about precise uh, uh, following uh, some standards, uh, it, this is the job that is uh, better to be done by a robotic arm. So in this aspect, uh, we just uh, assure our uh, customers and us users and uh, the public that the taste of uh, coffee served by a robotic arm will always be top because this is just uh, in the idea of a robot so it cannot violate the recipe it cannot make it uh, in a different way compared to what it is supposed to because a human uh, a human can make mistakes a robotic arm cannot make mistakes because it is a robot a human can just forget something while a robot cannot make it and so on and so forth in terms of uh, personal interaction, um, the, the whole thing why we just uh, uh, invested our time into uh, this uh, solution was uh, uh, the fact, one of the facts, that uh, like uh, in the morning, uh, most of us just uh, like to drop at local cafe not far away from our office to order a drink. Uh, your favorite drink, uh, your coffee, and go upstairs. But the point is that uh, we just uh, uh, face the situation, and not, not just a, a single person in the office, but uh, many people when we just discuss that, that when you come to a cafe and you order your, for, for example, cappuccino, big cappuccino with the, uh, chocolate syrup, the taste of the drink which you have today can be different from the taste you had yesterday and it can be different from the taste of the same drink which you might have tomorrow and that make, made us upset and the second thing is that uh, I do love people I love communicating with them uh, when I'm in, in, in good spirits but uh, sometimes you don't feel like talking uh, you, you just uh, concentrate it on, uh, on, on, on your job on your business you just focus on what you're supposed to do you're just thinking of something or talking over the phone or whatever and you're not up to discussing uh, whatever or talking about something that is not uh, directly related to your coffee. And since uh, some of us just face that kind of intrusivity, uh, we felt a little bit awkward in some situations and combination of uh, those factors just made us uh, create this robotic solution. But I do agree that sometimes uh, going to a coffee shop and uh, having a drink there uh, it's uh, not so much about taste but it's a lot about communication both with your partner with your friend or probably with a barista and for such cases i'm sure that uh, regular coffee shops should uh, exist our idea is not to replace uh, regular coffee shops our idea is to provide a high quality autonomous fully automated uh, robotic uh, coffee shop where you can get top quality drink you like very fast with the, the most non-intrusive service air. So that is the whole idea. If you feel like uh, communicating, if you feel like uh, you want to dive into regular coffee shop atmosphere, no problem. Uh, on average, a robotic uh, barista can uh, prepare around 300 cups per shift, shift is uh, 12 hours, but it really depends. So uh, it depends on an average size of drinks, if it is a small espresso or a big cappuccino with a syrup. So it makes uh, the difference, but on average it, it's uh, 300 and something. After that you need to recharge it uh, with cups and probably add uh, more coffee beans. Compared to a regular barista, so it, uh, it, it, it can be compared in several aspects. So first of all is quality. The quality of a robotic barista is the same as the quality of a professional reliable barista. 
but the quality of drink of the robotic barista is much better compared to a tired barista or a low-skilled barista. Uh, talking about the uh, speed, I would say that uh, a skillful uh, human barista can make more coffee or something like Cafe X, uh, some solution using an automatic coffee machine can make more drinks, but uh, we should compare the taste because the taste uh, of these 300 uh, cups will be much better compared to the taste of uh, coffee prepared uh, by automatic uh, coffee machine. So at the moment we're just uh, trying to add more fun to the whole process of interacting with the robotic uh, solution. Uh, me personally, I'm not so much sure that it is a must in the long perspective for robots to be able uh, to communicate with humans 24-7, uh, uh, but at the early stage of, so to say, uh, adaptation of uh, new technologies, it is very important for humans, for, for the audience, to, to feel comfortable, to be able to experience something they're used to. So, I mean, if uh, the service they get from the robotic barista uh, will be very much uh, similar to what they get at a regular coffee shop, they will experience less stress. And in this aspect, of course, communication, entertainment, and all that uh, things, uh, they contribute to, uh, to that effect. But uh, in the long-lasting perspective, I, I would say that as, as soon as uh, there is mass adoption of robotics into our everyday life, there'll be no need for communication. Like, for example, we don't communicate with our robotic vacuum cleaners. It's just uh, doing its job. You don't need to talk to it. And the robotic uh, uh, vacuum cleaner doesn't need to talk to you. It just reports its status uh, and that is. So, and, and that's something we, we're sure uh, that robotics uh, technologies will come to uh, later. I do believe that uh, within next, uh, from five to 10 uh, years, the, uh, the presence of robotic solutions in uh, various non-industrial sectors will increase by several times. But also I do share uh, belief that uh, humans will not and should not be replaced. This is not the idea about replacing humans. This is uh, the idea about giving the same quality, the same product in a little bit different way. So we will need uh, humans for interaction. Uh, some services need to be uh, accompanied by human staff, by human personnel uh, to, to help you through the process or to share some feedback or to make recommendation or whatever. So I am sure that robotic solutions will work hand uh, by hand with humans. Like for example, our robotic arm, it is a collaborative robotic arm. So it's all about collaboration. It means that you can work uh, hand by hand, side by side, and first of all, to be efficient. And the second thing, uh, the, there is no danger of harm, injury, because it is collaborative. And I'm sure that such collaborative uh, solutions will grow rapidly.